Just one game at a time. You know, we came out prepared. Uh, we also took the time to prepare for this as well, just from training camp and guys being locked in from day one uh, and taking time away, you know, from their family and loved ones to, to practice every day. And, and we did the things leading up to this and scouting them if, uh, as much as as much as possible. And, uh, you know, it played in our favor, but we, we understand this tournament. I'm sitting next to two veteran guys that have been a part of this for a long time. And, and we know when you win in advance, uh, usually it is a back-to-back -back and and that's what, we're we'll, that's what we will prepare for. What did you guys think you kind of learned from last year's run to be able to use this year? Roster depth, roster depth and, and defense. Um, that, that's, that's kind of been our struggle in the past and, and we capitalized with that today. Thomas, I know you were here last year, you know, just kind of comparing where you guys were this last year to where you guys were this year, you know, a little bit more confidence or less confidence or anything like that? Yeah, man, it was, a, honestly, for me, it was a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Uh, like like Dale said, uh, we have depth, you know, and people making shots, it made it a lot easier. Um, it made me and DJ's job easier getting the ball in the paint and scoring it uh, because they couldn't they couldn't help off that much. And so um, I think the biggest thing is just chemistry and just uh, trusting each other to make the right play, and you know, that's what happened. Dale, yeah, it looked like uh, Jalen Brown was kind of made a point of, of using your whole bench too. Was that kind of the idea to sort of play the long game here too? Absolutely. Uh, that, was, that was my mentality before, you know, going going into this tournament. And, uh, you know, the best thing about it is that, you know, my relationship with everybody on, on this roster is organic. Uh, it's not just reaching out to see if they can play. You know, these are my brothers and we've known each other for quite a long time. And, and not necessarily, you know, everybody was our teammate. We were teammates, but we all K-State family. So, uh, you know, throughout the years of, of our coaching changes, we've always made an emphasis of getting back and, uh, you know, coming back just to engage with not only just the K-State community, but, but, but the K-State men's basketball team as well. And that's what we did, you know, when we were no longer, uh, you know, student athletes. And that's why we're so connected in, 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 in this organic. You talk about the K-State family and going through the coaching changes. What's it like then for you guys to have a guy like Clint Stewart who was there under Jim Woldridge, and then a guy like Bebe, who just played there last year. What's that like for you guys to experience having all of this different era of K-State basketball together? It's just connecting the dots. It's like a family tree, man. And, uh, you know, regardless of coaching changes, you know, we, we stick by one another. And, uh, you know, for a guy like Bebe to come in, and, I mean, to be honest, I called Bebe, you know, a couple weeks ago, and, and he was grateful for the opportunity. He was here on time. And, uh, you know, he came out and he may have only played eight minutes, but he played with 110% effort. And I know and that's the things that we need here. And uh, for especially like Bay Bay with DJ and Gip all on the same team, like like Gip was saying, it's a breath of fresh air where, you know, they're not being u utilized for 30 something minutes where, where they're just dead tired. And, and we know those back to backs are important and, and, and opponents get tougher as well. So, you know, for these guys to, you know, have a leg going into tomorrow. You know, we just gotta, we gotta utilize, you know, our, our depth again and just be ready to prepare as much as possible for other stuff. Did you, did you, uh, you're from St. Louis. Did you know a lot of these guys and played with them? Or? Yeah, a lot of the guys I grew up with, uh, Demetrius, um, actually, when I started playing ball at the age of 14, he was on the first team I played on. And uh, we've known each other for half of our lifespan. So, um, and the rest of the guys I grew up playing against. Uh, some of them are much younger, grew up watching me and Demetrius play. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's always good to see those guys and um, happy we got an opportunity to compete against each other. And you're, you've played with a couple of guys before, right? Yes. So is it good to kind of get back? Yeah, it's nice to be back. Nice on a winning team. On a winning team. <laughs> no disrespect, no disrespect. But uh, yeah, and just nice to get back, be able to be in Manhattan. Um, I know last year I spent about two weeks back and forth between Casey and St. Louis, um, <coughs> traveling and training with the guys last year. Um, so just nice to be able to get back and, and be home and see my brothers again, because uh, there's something that I definitely look forward to every summer. How much time did you guys have the, together? Uh, we started training camp July 8th. Uh, we, we was in Kansas City for a few days. And we went up to Manhattan uh, for a few days, and then we came out to Wichita back. Uh, we came out to Wichita on Sunday, and uh, we've been, you know, practicing against, you know, pros or or college guys that were available in the local area, and uh, they gave us a real look, you know, versus us just kind of banging on one another. Um, 
Um, I think that was another thing that was that was very important going into this training camp was that, you know, having guys that was available, you know, willing to give their time to help us grow. Are you uh, getting the first one out of the way? Do you feel like you're you're now settled in a little bit and it's going to get a little easier? To, obviously, the competition's going to fill up. No, that don't get easier. I mean, it's a day-to-day -day thing. It gets harder. And so the, the higher we climb up this mountain to get to the, to the top, I mean, it's, it's tough, you know. So you got to be mentally prepared and physically. Do you, do you feel like you're fresh in this Absolutely. This time I'm sitting up here like yeah. I can play a little bit more, <laughs> but no, nah, I don't want to, man. But I mean, yeah, I definitely, my body definitely feels a lot better compared to last year. You know, playing thirty some minutes and then turn around having to play a back to back. So, coach, what's the biggest takeaway that you know you need to make a change ahead of Arkansas? Or you just kind of play your game, or what's what kind of biggest takeaway to head into the next one? Uh, we need to focus on ourselves. You know, we need to capitalize on things that we didn't do so well. You know, talk about it. And then uh, we, we'll move on and, and we'll be prepared for Arkansas. We know that you know, our team has scouted the game a little bit uh, earlier today. They run a lot of ball screens and they have, and they have roster depth as well. So, you know, it's going to be a dog fight and, and we'll be prepared for it. Yeah, you, know, you keep talking roster depth. Last year you were suiting up. That You're glad that that's not happening this year? Or? A thousand percent. Uh, <laughs> you know, I might have played two or three minutes and and I, I apologize to Gip because uh, my body shut down on me. And then I was in a polo the next day. So, uh, you know, just to have, you know, our guys that are all K-Staters for the most part, you know, to be available to play, you know, that, that's big for us. On the topic of depth, do you guys anticipate having Desi or Henry at all during this week? Uh, no, we, we don't. We don't. It's a physical brand of basketball out there. So where is a tougher place to get a whistle? Allen Fieldhouse or on the TBT floor? That's, that's a great question. question. <laughs> uh, just just to be biased, I'm going to say Allen Fieldhouse. I'm biased in answer Allen Fieldhouse. Everybody good? Good.